So today, the agenda for today's topic is so file system structure. File system structure here, SAP structure. So file system SAP structure here. So SAP. So whenever we do the SAP installation here at the operating system level, we will get the some folders, some files. So here, we'll, those are the very important for troubleshooting the issues, troubleshooting the issues here. Okay. So first of all, whenever you do the installation by default, you will get the USR, SAP, SID, you will get. Suppose you have installed the SID is NWD, then NWD. If you install the SAP ECD, then ECD. So like that, one SID will be created here. What? SID will be created here. So you can see here, whenever you do the installation, just go to the here. So then USR, SAP, then SID, NWD created. So under the NWD, we have again three directories will be created. One is the system. The second one is the D instance number. The third one is the so ASCS instance number like that it will create the three folders here. So D instance number means D. Suppose you give him the instance number is 04, then 04 will be created. So during the installation time, we will allocate the installation number. So that will be the number first in this field here. So you can see here. So here. ASCS instance number, D instance number, SIS. So if you install the one more application server, that is the one more instance number for here. Okay. So that is the one. So if we talk about the SIS, again, under the SIS, again, we have the so three folders again here. SIS profile, right? Then D. So again, SIS global. Then again, SIS exe exe folder these are the three profiles again under the sys folder here and again these are the three profiles under the sys folder here right so these are the thing here under the sys we have profile global directory exe right so you can see here under the sys operating system level we have the sys sys we have the profile global directory exe right so profiles contains all your profiles and parameters here normally in rj10 rj11 we will change the profiles right so that is the one way then one more thing is if you are unable to log into the sap level then if you are unable to change it from here then there is a one more way to change the profiles and anything is like rj10 and rj11 rz10 and rz11 here one more way to check it out here so if you are unable to do that one go to the profiles sys profiles here here you can change the suppose if you want to change the default profile you can change the default profile here suppose if you want to change the instance profile then you can change the instance profile profile contains parameters here so like this whatever the suppose if you want to change the ascs you can change the Yes, yes, profiles here. The profiles contains parameters here. Okay. So that is the one thing here. Profiles contains parameters here. Right. So this is the ACS. So default and instance profiles. So so here in the RZ10 and RZ11, it is showing means because of this profiles are stored at operating system level. So that is the reason. You can see this profiles here, right? You can see the profiles here. That is the reason you can see the profiles here, right? So now let's talk about the profile directory. This is the profile directory here. So now the next one is called the so global. In the global directory, we will see the in the global directory, we will see the so this is the profile directory. Global directory here, we can see the so spool logs spool job logs and some security settings some security java uh, acl security settings you will get it out the security settings here you will set in the global directory so profiles profiles here exe means 
executable files kernel executable files mean cxp cxp unicode ntedm then these all are the binaries they are executable files so sap system is up and running means because of this kernel files are execute this kernel this exe exe means kernel files are there at operating system level so that is the reason our sap system is dispatcher dialogue process message server nq server so dialog all are on all are so running because of the so this this one here right so because of this kernel files are exist at the operating system level it kind of os level compiler compiler files here so for how heart is very important for us right or how the legs are very important for us humans same way for sap this legs are very important legs are called the here x exe exe is a very important for them right so this is the one of the main important thing for them so exe exe is the very important very important for them right exe folder so global exe right so uh, this is under the sys directory here sys under the sys we have so profile directory global directory exe exe means kernel normally we will call it as the exe means executable files executable files so sap is running means because of the os level file systems are exist kernel files right these are the very important here next one is called the d instance number here so here in the d instance number here we have the directory is called the so log directory then one more directory here we have the sec directory then the third folder we have multiple folders work directory so here we have exe again here we have the exe directory then we have the data folder so like this we have the directories are available here right so here the most important directory structures are sec directory all the certificates are available in the sec directory and this exe and here exe are same but this is the sys exe global exe directory global executable directory right this exe is the local executable directory this is the local executable directory here local executable directory this is the global this is the local here this is a instance specific exe directory here so data data files are available statistics files are available here work directory is the very 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 important directory work directory here work directory so in the system in the system if we go to the work directory here so data exe log sec directory work directory here so work directory is the the our main troubleshooting log file here our main important troubleshooting log file is the work directory here so if the sap side if we want to troubleshoot anything here we want to check the logs work directory is the very important here if something goes wrong with the sap sap system is slow and work process are red jobs jobs are not running system performance is slow users are unable to log in users are unable to execute any transaction codes and network slow gui is slow any kind of error we can track it here we can find out the log files here so here all the log files are available in this directory here so here all the work log files will starts with the dev underscore dev underscore dev underscore dev underscore if it is the icm icm related gateway rd work process number zero means if we go to the sm50 we have the options right work process zero work process one two three work process these work process related log files we can track it work process related log files we can track it here suppose you want to track the the eighth 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 work process here right you want to check what's happening with this work process here then go to the work process number eight 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 means this is the one the one that's the work process eight open this one check it out what's happening here or process number so log files are available here just you can check the log file here what what is happening here there is a system time zone is not found in the system system time zone is not found that is the message i can see it here right so like this we can check the logs logs of the all the messages and everything here so dispatcher how the dispatcher is behaving here so all the information we can track it. each and every the process specific 
each and every process related log files we can find out in the in the work directory this is the one of the troubleshooting directory here okay so then next one is the ascs ascs also we have the data folder exe folder log folder sex folder work directory in the ascs what we have in the ascs we have the nq server and a message server those related log files we can see it in the system how the message server is behaving how the message server those are the ascs instance remaining all will be in the application server instance so remaining all related parameters all related log files we can find out in the in the in this work directory if something goes wrong this is the log file we need to check it out this is the log file here we have to tray we have to trace it here okay this is the log file the rfc connections rfc destination something is not working so here we can find out the information here here you can find out the all the information here something along with the so you are rfc destination something is not working something is slow so in this case we can check it out the so we can check the log files what's happening with this rfc connections and log files here all the information we can track it here right so this is the so rfc so this is about the so dev underscore work process log files here so these all are the work process related log files here work process related log files here so these log files are very important for troubleshooting the issues here right then sec directory we have the security pscs are available so those things here logs means there is a alerts tab ccms tabs logs are available here not much important here work directory and exe local exe directory and and data stat files are available statistic files are available here these files are very important here okay so these are about the file system structure here this is about the file system structure here okay so these are about the file system structure here in case of sap is not starting any issues work directory is our common repository to check the issues and everything here okay you have to come to the work directory and open the log files recent time sum of the log files then check it out what happening with the system why it is not responding why it is not taking why it is slow so that what that type of investigations we can take it here okay so that is the so main aim of the the work directory here okay so that is the work directory log files here so any questions anyone this is a very important so structure here you need to remember the all those things here sometimes sometimes the people will ask you can you please tell me the location of the work directory then usr sap sid d instance number work directory sometimes they may ask the profile directory and global directory these three are very important and the kernel directory this four or five directories location is very important please remember this file system structure so it's very important in the further classes so you need to so you need to by head or you need to remember all those things parts and everything why because so if someone asking the question means definitely they will ask you questions on the so this this areas okay file system structure okay so it's very important so please use this one please practice the up to here you can practice it 